Tonight, the former Minneapolis police officer responsible for the death of George Floyd is behind bars. Derek Chauvin could face up to 40 years in prison after being found guilty on all three charges he was facing. Certainly an anxious time this afternoon as the country awaited the verdict. It came nearly a year after Chauvin held his knee on the neck of George Floyd longer than nine minutes, despite Floyd repeatedly saying he couldn't breathe. The judge read the verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April 2021 at 1 44 p.m. There, the judge announcing Chauvin guilty of the most severe charge, second degree murder, unintentional murder, with up to 40 years in prison. Now, the jury also found him guilty of third degree murder, typically punishable by up to 25 years, and second degree manslaughter, which can carry 10 years in prison. But under Minnesota law, Chauvin will only do time based on the most serious charge. It was a verdict many were not optimistic would come, but are very relieved to see. This, the scene in many Minneapolis tonight at the intersection where George Floyd was murdered. A memorial has been growing there for months. Crowds gathering and people stopping by to pay their respects this evening. We are continuing to follow this news for you tonight. Andrea Flores reports on the continuing fight for racial justice here in Colorado. I want to start though with Tori Mason and the complexity of emotions being felt tonight. Tori, a welcome verdict for many. Still a very bittersweet day. Yes, Jim, this was an emotional day for Americans of all colors and all different ages. You see, the murder of George Floyd happened in the middle of a pandemic. So a lot of younger people had a chance to watch that video. They had a chance to organize and attend some of these protests that we saw over the summer. But, you know, I talked to a lot of Coloradans who have been watching this stuff happen for decades with different results. No one incident completely changes anything. For Terry Nelson, last summer was a familiar fight with a different name. After decades of cries for justice, she says this trial was different. When it came to asking those questions for why and how and talk about not anything racial, they only talked about the inhumanity of man to man. Were you afraid to wake up with such hope this morning that it might be crushed? I'm too old for that. After a lifetime of chanting different names, anger transforms to patience. For some, these verdicts leave knots in your stomach. I mean, my heart right now is right now thinking about that. Vern Howard has been holding his breath after a summer of hearing, I can't breathe. I honestly believe that the verdict today and the silence that we're seeing now it's sorrow. Howard says a guilty verdict shouldn't be so rare that it's celebrated. This verdict is just the beginning. Terry says a guilty verdict should never be expected. If you expect things, then you let your guard down. And that is not what we want to do. We want to keep the pressure on pushing forward. Now, Howard says this verdict should inspire people to take all of that energy they had last summer protesting and to come together and do something to inspire more productive change. He says this fight for justice is far from over. What happened today was very emotional. It had a huge impact on a lot of people. And if you are one of those people, the most important thing you can do right now moving forward is to take care of yourself. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado First.